planning and zoning boards. News like that has leaders using the word comeback when describing the state of the city and Saginaw County. TV5's Blake Keller reports they say this is the land of opportunity. The city and county of Saginaw continues to make a comeback. And considering the state of our city today, I'm happy to say that 2019 was a very positive year for Saginaw. That's the message from both Saginaw Mayor Floyd Clock and Saginaw County Board of Commissioners Chair Michael Webster at the State of Saginaw Address. And it holds the promise of a new year and a new decade. Leaders say Saginaw is a hub for opportunity, culture, community, health care, and overall quality of life. In the prior five years, we had an investment totaling over $228 million in 70 significant development projects that created 840 new jobs. Over the past year, the city made strides on many renovation and developmental projects, including Ojibwe Island and fixing roads and infrastructure. And plans to bring more to Saginaw will continue into 2020. We build opportunity. We do this by providing helpful and innovative tools for those looking to invest in Saginaw. This past June, Saginaw joined 32 other cities in being certified by the Michigan Economic Development Corporation as a redevelopment ready community. As we head into a new decade, Webster shared his plans for a new aggressive collaboration initiative. And I will call this Vision 3010. This will be a bold and aggressive, aggressive initiative that will require us to engage in true collaboration inside and outside of our county. And they want everyone who lives here to believe in Saginaw. But, you, uh, you know, there's the, that old sag nasty phrase, it is wrong. That is not who we are. We are not that city from five or seven years ago. In Saginaw, Blake Keller, WNEM TV5. Now, leaders also tried to stress the importance of residents participating in the 2020 census. Officials say the county could lose nearly $2,000 per person not counted.